Hello, this is Kedulerics and welcome to today's session. One of the free to use reference managers is Zotero. You do not need to pay any dime to use it. It is free of charge. Now, once you get your articles imported into Zotero, sometimes you need to deal with what we call duplicate. And that is where Zotero has this button called duplicate items, which helps you to remove duplicate when you have one in your database. So when you click on it, depending on the number of articles they are that are duplicated, to take a while to get loaded. But when it, once it does, and you click on it like this, all the blue highlighted are duplicated articles. So to remove them, you click on them, and then you click on Merge. Mind you, it will ask you to select the appropriate version that you want to maintain while merging the others. And so once you do this, you are sure that you have removed every duplicate that are in the Zotero platform. But then doing this manually may take a lot of time if you have a large amount of data or articles that are duplicating. And that is where you may want to employ the R platform to be able to run a set of codes that will help you to remove duplicates. And so let's delve into that and see how we can be able to do that. So now let's go to the R studio and see what instructions there are for us to follow. Yeah, so right here, if you intend to remove duplicate from a database that you've exported or imported into Zotero and you want to be a bit fast about removing the duplicate you have to follow this process so first of all you install this package called deploy then you run the libraries this that and that just so you are set to be able to do this now in order to prepare your data for this you need to import your database to Zotero and then export that same database in the RIS formats or bibliotheques or whatever format you export imported in, into Zotero into an CSV file format, which would be more appropriate to use in the R Studio platform. So now let's go and experiment these two things that we have highlighted here. One, importing and to exporting as a CSV file. All right, so right here, so right here in Zotero, you click on file at the top left corner over here, and then you click on import. And then you maintain your case, your option here, and then you click on next. And then you have opportunity to select where your BIP file is or RIS file is. And then you click on next until you get it is imported into Zotero. So that's the first stage. Now the second stage is to export it. So once you have your collection like this, you right click on it and then you click on this option export collection. Then the format, you have a lot of formats, but we are interested in exporting it as a CSV file. And so you click on OK, and then you wait patiently for it to be exported into the desired folder. So we are done with those two points highlighted in the previous, in the R platform. So now the next step is to load our data. So the data I have exported using these two method is this. And so I'm going to load it and going to call it as articles. And so I'm running this line of code. And so here we have it loaded here as articles. So there are 7,043 observations that were ascribed to that um, variable articles. So now we want to remove duplicate based on the title. So we don't want to have two 
titles or two articles having the same title in this um, set of data. And so we're going to use this line of code, unique articles, distinct article title, and then keep all equals through. And then we run this and then we are good to go. So now unique articles are our 6,900, So once we do our subtraction from this and this, we realize that the duplicated articles are about 449. So basically, this is how you can be able to remove the duplicate. Now, for you to get it back into, for you to get it back into Zotero or import it back into Zotero, it will not work if it is still as a CSV file. So why do we see that? Let's go back to Zotero and try to import a CSV file and see what it tells us. So we go to file, import, and then we click on next. And then let's say we have this. So we click on this. And then we click on next. So it will tell us the selected file is not in supported format. So view supported format. So when we click on this, it opens a link for us. And then basically it helps us see. So this link is what it, it, it gives us a brief insight into the various formats that so Tarot can import. So we have this, 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 that. And then, so we do not find CSV in it. And so we'll be doing ourselves a lot of this service by maintaining it as a CSV file. And so we need to convert it from a CSV into an appropriate one that Zotero can manage. And we are choosing the RIS, SN3. And there we are interested in these um, columns being created. That is at author, publication year, title, publication title, DUI, the abstract notes, the language, the notes, the link attachment, and the manual attacks. Now you can add as many um, columns as, as you would wish, but we are interested in these key um, columns that provides us with key information when we trying to include, exclude articles. So we maintain it this way. And then we run this line of code. So let's run this again. And then let's run this line of code. So once we run this entry, then we are gonna apply the function that we have created to the rule and the columns so as to be able to create a, a content. So we're gonna create the RIS content. So we click on it and it creates that. Then this is where we're gonna write it into a file. And so we use the line of code, write line RIS content into, so this is the, the name you wanna to give to whatever you are creating. So. If it's new data, so you just write new data or whatever. And then the extension should be RIS. So we just dot RIS. So we just run this and then it creates a new file for us called the new dot RIS. And so with that, we can be able to import that into the Zotero, and then we can be able to proceed with our analysis or review of the articles. So basically, this is one way that we can easily remove duplicate. Right. Again, on our next one, if you like content such as this, we encourage you to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so you are always notified whenever a new video like this is released. 
until we meet again, it's a bye.